Hello, Assalamu alaikum. <clears throat> Welcome to this uh, demonstration video for the journal entry transaction, which is FB50, the first one which we did in SCP. So, this is the SCP GUI screen uh, through which we need to start. There are two ways to access the transaction. We can use the easy access menu. Uh, in that case, we have to uh, explore the right place. So, it is the for relevant folders are accounting, financial accounting, then general ledger document entry in fact we are entering a document and this is the t code fp50 enter gl account document or simply you can type the t code over here and you will be taken to that screen so if you are accessing this screen for the first time the system will give you some window like this and you have to choose the company code us00 again as uh, from the previous exercises you know that uh, we can choose this this button shows that there is a list of values so you can call the list of values through F4 or you can press this button so that all the company codes present in the system are apparent are available on the screen we have to choose the company code US00 we can type US00 straight away over here and then press enter so that at least the company code is fixed next we need to give the document date and this document date for the time being for the exercise being is taken as the current date however for the assignments you need to make sure that uh, the dates are both the document date and posting dates are the dates which are mentioned in the assignment so you see if i didn't enter the date and i pressed enter the system is giving me an error and let me show that error to you uh, you see this enter a valid date so this error these errors are shown always when you press an enter button without entering a required a necessarily required data right so since i pushed and enter button without entering the necessary required data system gave us the error and you see I cannot write over here now so unless I press enter I acknowledge this that I have entered the data the system won't allow me to write anything here over here so I cannot write any data here so first of all I need to press enter then I pressed enter then this window has become white uh, this field became, became white means that I can enter the data here so let's say I have to uh, debit rent expense so I press F4 and then I search with the GL long text right so remember to have the right search tab this is the right search tab usually for the words so rent and then there are two accounts prepaid rent and rent expense and so now I am now I am posting rent expense you know in the class we posted prepaid rent there is something specific with the rent expense uh, uh, in the general entry that I'll show it to you. So let's select this one. The account number has been taken here. We need to debit this account. The amount in the local currency say is $1,000. We pressed enter and as soon as we press enter, you see the system gave us an error. Account 740300 requires an assignment to a C object. So this is the error you will always see whenever you use an expense account in SAP because it, this is a Janu German language error if I translate this error in a, in a uh, plain English then it does mean for us at least it does mean that this is an expense account the system is saying this is an expense account and whenever you are debiting an expense account you must mention the name of the department to which this expense belongs so that the system can adjust the expense in the name of the department and adjust the budgets and do all the budgetary calculations for that particular department so the C object means that there must be a department for the timing and the department in SAP we say the department is a cost center so if you scroll right you can see the cost center here this is the cost center column so here you need to mention the cost center in order to get rid of this error so again to mention the cost center we can use F4 key but since cost center is not right now our purpose so we straight away take the cost center as NAAD1000 NAAD1000 is uh, an ID of the admin cost center right so you simply type NAD 1000 you have to type exactly the same cost center name now we can search this cost center from F4 but since this is not our purpose right now so I have taken it right away and as soon as you dis do that do this uh, enter this uh, cost center name and press enter you see the error is no longer there the red light is here it means the debit has been entered which is 1000 that the, the credit is not the credit is not there so you cannot save the entry move on to the second end line so the bank account as i remember the bank account so i straight away type the account number of the bank account otherwise again we can use f4 key to call the bank account uh, to search the bank account 
it is credit and $1,000 is the amount I pressed enter the light turns green you see the, in the bank account I do not need to mention the cost center but in the expense account I do need to mention the cost center because normally the assets or the banks are not department specific they are general for the entire company whereas the expenses are department specific now I have to push the save button and when I take my cursor to the save button it is showing post right so remember we need to post the entry there is a similar save button over here which mentions park right so we do not need to park the entry for the time being parking means that you are not posting the entry but you are actually saving the entry for a later review or later check or later approval by another superior authority in that case if you park the document somebody else will call the document make necessary changes if required and then he or she will post the document maybe your manager or your supervisor and that is known as the workflow so we are not discussing right now the workflow we are not discussing parking so we simply have to post this and you, as soon as you post this you will see there is a document number over here and this is the document number which you should note in order to submit your assignment if somehow you forget this document number yeah, then there is one way to call this document number immediately and this is that simply you go to the document here in the menu bar you go to document and you go to display as soon as you go to document and you go to display the system will automatically show you the immediately posted document remember my words the system will only show you the immediately posted documents automatically so if you uh, did not actually remember or or did not note uh, the document number you can just call it from document display right and you can see the number from here but if there are three documents that you have posted then from this one you can only call the latest one the other two documents in order to call the other two documents there is a separate way which we shall discuss in class so for the assignment purpose you need to save this document and then you do not need to display this document just save the document number and then start another general entry the same way we started the first one again accounts debit credits and again save and then the third entry so there are almost 10 or 11 transactions in that assignment which you have to complete that way thank you very much